Hi there, welcome to our 3D modeling tutorial. Um, we're going to create our first uh, part now. Uh, this is going to be a, it's going to be a cake tin, um, which is extremely nice and simple to, uh, to model up and it will take us just a couple of minutes. So I am going to create a sketch on the right plane and then I'm going to select the line entity and what I'm going to do is we're not too bothered about dimensions as we can add these on uh, as we go along but I'm just going to create a line from there and I'm going to drag it down just so it says uh, that it is horizontal to the origin and then I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to drag it out and you can see that we have a, a bit of a, a reader and I'm going to drag it out to approximately 100 mil zoom in and out, squidge over and then I'm going to bring it up to uh, the original start point okay so this is the basis of our cake tin and now what we need to start doing is just adding a couple of dimensions to uh, to fully define the sketch so we're going to do smart dimension I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to click on the end point of the first line drag it up and I'm going to make this 10 mil and then I'm going to select the main horizontal line and I'm going to select the end point and I'm going to create that at 45 mil. Do the same again, click the end point, click the horizontal line and make that 45 mil. Okay, so we have the height uh, we have the height of the model. We need to now start specifying the depth. So I'm going to select the end point from the furthest away line, click the origin, shoot it down, and this is going to be 130 mil. Okay, so we've got our overall uh, width and we've got our overall height. Now we need to start fully defining the sketch. As you can see, our bottom horizontal line is fully defined. The blue points, though, mean that we can still move them around. They're not defined yet, but we can't move it up or down, and we can't move it left or right as it's defined by the dimensions. So what we have to do now is we can add an angle. So I'm going to make this, uh, we'll make it, say, 98 degrees. Now, this is a, a cool tip. If you are creating mirrored sketches like this where they are basically the same if you click on the line there and then if we control click on there we can then select make equal now make equal means that it will mimic the exact behavior of this line so as you can see this is at 98 percent uh, sorry 98 degrees even um, i'm going to say right that's, that's too much i'm going to make it 94 and if we make it 94 you can see that it automatically adds it on to uh, the mirrored entity. I'm going to change that back to 98. And what we are going to do now is we, we need to give some thickness to this line. We need to make it uh, we need to make it have a profile. So we're going to click on offset entities and the offset entities basically does exactly what it says. We have our um, the distance that we have we can select one mil all the way up to whatever we require and we can reverse it as well we can reverse the offset so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select three mil and i'm just going to select this one line now solidworks will uh, recognize that it has these other two lines connected and it will automatically select them as you can see we've got a three mil thickness and we can increase that up to say nine mil but that's going to be way too thick so I'm actually going to do it at 2 mil. Uh, what we can do is we can reverse the offset. And if we reverse the offset, it means that you can see that the lines are on the outside of the pre-created uh, geometry. And if we reverse it, it'll take it onto the inside. Uh, and if you don't want that, you can actually make it bidirectional. So you can add 2 millimeters to either side then. And then we can reduce that down to 1 mil. So what we're going to do is we're going to select bidirectional and we're going to select one mil thick, which will make it all in all two millimeters thick. I'm then going to click OK and accept that. Now we can see though it's got three lines. Now these three lines are 
going to cause a problem when we revolve our uh, our cake tin. So if we go back and if we select uh, offset entities, I can make these construction geometry. Uh, sorry, make base construction. So what it does is it takes our original selected line and it will make it construction geometry, which means that SolidWorks will not uh, use it in uh, the feature. Okay, one of the other things that I do want though is I want these corners to be horizontal. So I'm just going to click on a line here and I'm going to just click and drag it out and select OK. Now what we can do is even though I just need to zoom in, there we go, even though this black point here is fully defined, we can still move it. Because it's fully defined, it's because it's been taken away from our base geometry, which is fully defined by a dimension. However, this is only being told to move one mil over. But we can alter this. So if I click and drag this endpoint, you can see that we've moved it. And as soon as we release it, it will become underdefined. All I'm going to do is drag it up, and then you'll see we have a little marker on the line. I'm not near to the line, but if I release it, if we click and drag it back on, there we go. There we go, it's snapped onto the line. And what we can do then is we can drag this line all the way back to the point and make those two points connected. Or another way of doing it is if we go over to the other side, we'll draw a line across that is horizontal. We'll double click. We can click on where it says convert entities you can click on the arrow x y oh no sorry trim entities even we can click on the arrow and extend the entities and if we select that line you can see that solidworks is prompting us to say look do you want me to extend it to that line we'll click okay perfect and then i'm going to trim the entities power trim and you just click and drag you can see a little gray line of where it's going to trim and that is perfect we've trimmed it all the way back now, we can revolve this by creating a temporary axis. However, an easier way of creating a, uh, an axis is just clicking on the center line. As we've stated before, center lines are not used in SOLIDWORKS when creating a feature. It won't create a solid or it won't create uh, any errors. It won't create any rebuild errors even, I should say. So we have that line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply exit the sketch and we can see all of our profiles. I'm then going to go on features, revolve, and then I'm going to select the center line. And as it's part of the original sketch, you can see we've got a real nice revolved cake tin. Now you can see that it has some sharp corners. We have the corners, we have the sharp corners on the outside and we've also got them on the inside now we have two options here we can either fill it which is under the features command manager or what we can do is we can go back to the sketch and if we click to edit the sketch or I'll right click and edit it uh, if we go to normal two we can add sketch fillets uh, sketch fillets uh, just situated over here and if we click we can specify the fillet parameter so I'm going to say five millimeters and I'm going to click on that corner there and I'm going to click on that corner there and I'm going to click on that corner there and there and as we click OK you can see it's updated the sketch and if I exit the sketch it's rebuilt it into the solid so if we go around, we can now see we have a lovely, smooth, curved fillet on the inside and the outside of the cake tin. Now, as I said, we can create a fillet as a feature. However, SOLIDWORKS prefers reworking uh, sketches instead of reworking the features. So obviously we have to create two features. We have to create the revolve and then we have to create the fillet. Now, if we can create or if we can establish fillets within the sketch uh, this means that SOLIDWORKS will perform a lot better. Uh, it performs a lot quicker 
and the re rebuild times are uh, a lot more as well if we put all the features into sketches. Obviously sometimes we can't do this but if we can we should always try to build this into our designs. Okay so there we have it we have a very basic uh, cake tin um, in a 3D model. I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this very basic tutorial. If there's anything that you want to add or any comments feel free to post them in the box below and don't forget you can also follow us and like us on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, those links are also just below this video. Uh, we'll take care and I hope to see you soon.